I want to spend a few minutes and talk about a new feature of Insight Maker called Link Results to Model, which was just introduced moments ago, uh, which I think is amazingly exciting. This is a, a model of um, what happens, the alternatives, when faced with a situation where the performance requirements increase and the options are to either work harder or work smarter. And what this model specifically is, is, is not important to what I'm going to show you, but this, this model was created and developed so that it unfolds as a story in terms of showing you what a steady state for this environment is. And if you then go ahead and increase the performance requirements, this is what happens to, to the environment. And if you, go ahead and respond by spending more time working smarter than harder. This is what happens. And this is sort of a middle of the road doing both of them. And you can vary the parameters and run the simulation. Now, if I get out of the storytelling mode and look at this model and simply say that I want to go ahead and, and increase the, the performance change by five, and run the simulation for this model, it shows me this set of outputs for the model. Though what I often want to understand are what are some of the, um, the variances or the changes associated with other entities, elements of the model itself. Whereas in the graph, all I have are a set of outputs for a few key variables. If I now come up here and click here and say link results to model and then mouse over any one of the elements of the model, it will show me a tooltip, which is the graph for that particular entity over the period of the simulation itself. Now, this this was done with a with the choice of working harder as opposed to smarter. So let me unlink this. Let me change this to 90%, meaning I want to spend most of my effort working smarter than working harder. And if I run this simulation, you can see how this result is, is very different than the previous result. So now if I go ahead and link this result to the simulation, when I now mouse over these elements, it shows me the, the graphs for those elements with that set of parameters established that produce this result. And I can switch back and forth readily to look at, say, okay, this is the total hours used for this result, and this is the total hours used for this result. So I can compare them quite readily. And additionally, the uh, uh, other part of the feature that's been developed is if this is, if this is pinned to the, the model, if I now go ahead and change the parameters, the sliders, it will take it a moment to recalculate, but it will now go ahead and essentially in real time, show you the result of varying that particular entity, that particular element in how it impacts the output. And with any one of those, at any time, any point that you stop, you can then go and look at the individual elements. If you, if that's what you're trying to understand is how is that element contributing I know that oftentimes um, I'd have a particular output from a, from a model and I'd want to understand numerous inputs in the, in the output relationships and I'd create one output graph after another and I'd look at two or three variables, look at two or three other variables and then look at a couple of the output variables and I was creating a multitude of, of graphs attempting to understand what was going on and now all I have to do is mouse over the individual elements and I can look at any of them. And if I want to see what happens as I alter one of the variables in the model, it will show me, as I said, 
almost in real time. It takes it a moment to do a recalc, uh, but it will show you the change if you alter that variable of the model. So I, I think this is a really exciting new feature that was just added to Insight Maker and hope you find it informative and very useful. See you in another video soon. Bye.